We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball, and it comes your way next. James Paxton, the left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan, any thoughts? If you want to pick up a win as a starting pitcher, you have to go five innings to get the win, and that's just what he did the last one. I'm sure he'd like to be out there for a little bit longer in this one. Now at the plate, Luis Arias, and we are set for baseball here this for evening. Minnesota, the second baseman, Luis Arias. First delivery to him on the way. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. The center fielder, number 25. So that'll bring Byron in Byron Buxton. Buxton. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton. He's gone three for eight. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Buxton is a batting line residing in the 230s. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Now the 2-0. Three ball. No Paxton strike. has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Buxton ahead in the count three balls and a strike not a bad night to bring the parka along 54 degrees at game time the three and one pitch swing and a ball hit to the left side and this is going to wind up a souvenir. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. Third. He's almost like right another here. leadoff hitter, working yep. a walk with just one out. And I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. He's set, and the pitch. Hey. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons, he's, he's one of those umpires. He'll give you one thing or the other. At times, his zone can be a little wider than he's a little more strict north and south, but he's a pretty consistent umpire. I just, I, the key, Dan, is be consistent. You want to give him the inside half, I'm okay with that, but then you can't give him away. If you're going to stay east west, you better pick one side. Run, run, oh, and they've going. got him picked off. And they got him at second base on a good, smart play that time. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, d -Roll, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the that's game. Cool. That was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball yeah. that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is Gardner. And it's gone. Two.
two runs on the board after that home run by Miguel Sano. Number 11 for him on the season as the Twins have taken a two to nothing lead. Loved a homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. At the plate now, Mitch Garver. The catcher. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Garver is looking like a near lock at this point to make the All Star game this year. He's currently the leading vote getter in the league at catcher. Yeah, Maddie, not surprised this guy is on the top of the All Star game voting, but you have to take a step back. This is being voted on. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. A two-run score for the Twins, both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 2-0 Minnesota. Jose Barrios, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, thanks coming on Jose Barrios, and this guy has all the tools to be a great one. Great velocity with life. 94 to 97 miles an hour power slider and it's a big sweeper his changeup is getting better if this guy brings Leading all three off. pitches one Yankees. of these days he has the, the potential fielder. to throw a no hitter Brett. here comes Brett Gardner now Gardner. as he'll lead things off in the home first and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one and guys as we take a look at the twins at the start of play here tonight we've got to be considered one of if not the hottest team in baseball right now winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah Maddie taking a look at the standings right here this team has a nice lead comfortable you always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games got the advantage you don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings and this team this team's sitting pretty right now. The 2 1. Now a swing and a ball foul tipped right off our home plate umpire. And with no time to react, that is tough duty back there. Let's hope he's okay. Set to deal on 2 and 2. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim, one away. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. That so a good job the there of baseman. exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome Love when you start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. Two home runs and 16 RBIs. The 0-1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. Seared down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Looking for back to back K's to start the game. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another one, two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Bouncer to the left side. Gonzalez is up with it. On to first, and there were two down. Batting third, the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Now here it comes. Hey. Andujar takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. 
Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss on the slurve that time. It's one and two. Fouled off. Interesting pitch selection right there in off the plate. Not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting him get on first base free of charge. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Foul. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. He'll try again, one, two. Misses, ball two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two, two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And a slur, but this is in the dirt for a ball. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. Now the three and two pitch. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. This is on the ground over to first. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the that infield cool. single. The right fielder, Giancarlo Denton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. One Rounded back up the middle. Gonzalez to his left. He's there. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They're down two to nothing. New inning set to get underway. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. And the he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark Kepler. entering play. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Aye. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Now the 0-2 pitch. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And another foul ball. Full count to Max Kepler, three balls and two strikes. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. 
Oh, he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. That is seven. The next twin up, Eddie Rosario. Couple Eddie. of hits for him in four trips Rosario. to the plate last night. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Counts one and zero. Oh. One out, nobody on. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Nope. Up and in on the hands, it's two balls and a strike. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Now the 2 1. Left side, but well foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The 2 2. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting eight, the third baseman, number 24, Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson digging in now as we take a look at the splits between April and May. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Left fielder looking up. Gone! It's a solo shot off the bat of Josh Donaldson. Number 11 for him on the season as the Twins have made it a 3 to nothing ball game. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. The shortstop. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. That evens it up one and one. Here it comes. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Voigt will put this one away and the side is retired. But the Twins add on thanks to this solo shot. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now three nothing in favor of the Twins. Now to the plate, Gio Urshela. And he comes Four in as a Yankee. player to watch out for, the hitting well baseman. over 300 Number on the 29. season. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch coming. Here it is. Well, Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Ball and a strike. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 
2 2. Gary Sanchez waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. One out, nobody on. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Buxton is there now, and he has it to God. Batting seven, the shortstop, Tyler Wade. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 1-0. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Three and oh now. And the pitch. There's a strike with the fastball as he gets back in the count at three and one. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Hit to short. Gonzalez is there. In a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, Luis Arias. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. Arias. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. The batter, the center fielder, Byron Buckton. Ready for another chance. Byron Buxton. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now here it comes. Count one and oh. The one oh. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. The 1-1 home. Misses ball two. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Gardner. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Up next for Minnesota, 
the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Here's Nelson Cruz now. First pitch of the at bat. Ball, that's too high. Cruz, or the boomstick, as he's appropriately nicknamed. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front couldn't keep it fair. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Of course, there was a fastball. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. Count is full, here's the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Gardner. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Down go the Twins in order. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. Leading off. All right, the thanks, Heidi. The first baseman, Luke Boyd. First delivery to him on the way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Pitch on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. A 1 1. Hey. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. The 1 2. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Voigt is retired, and there's one away. Well, that you know you done. made a real nice pitch Don't when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still Mark. get the hitter to swing at it. That tells Don't me burn. that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Striding into the box, Mike Talkman. First pitch coming, here it is. At the ball. Ball one, no strike. One out, nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow, good range show off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First offering on its way. Nope. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. Fouled away.
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Fouled off. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Now batting second baseman, DJ. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into Mayhew. the box. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off for Minnesota. All set for the start of the fourth. Ready to take his Miguel. hacks again. Miguel, Miguel Sano. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game. And they've got the lead looking for more. Outside for a ball, one and one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The one, two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes oh. the throw to first. Sano is retired, and there's one away. Number eight. Nick. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mitch Garver, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Three runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. That one bends into the zone, a strike on the breaking ball. little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey I get it he's looking for a ball to drive but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. So it was a strikeout swinging. Mitch Garver is sent packing the for the second out of the inning. Matt Kepler. Standing in now, Max Kepler. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Kepler is playing first base today, even though he's typically thought of as an outfielder. That's inside. 2 0. Outside. 3 0 now. Now, with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him lose. 
There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year as the Twins are looking good here, up four to nothing. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone or that total might continue to rise. The left fielder. In now, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Nope. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at 1 and 1. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1 1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Four runs, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Well, now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. I need to get back to being aggressive. Two balls and two strikes now. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Man at second here with two away. And here's Donaldson. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. First offering on its way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Two balls and no strikes. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Hey. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. set and the 2 1 pitch for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this a B hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment Rosario at second with two down Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. But the Twins add on thanks to this solo shot. Bottom of the fourth coming up, and the Twins have taken a 4-0 lead. Digging in, D.J. LeMayhew. He's 0-1 thus far. Lots of baseball baseman. left in this DJ. one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Down low, two balls and a strike.
count even at two and two. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0 and 2. And it's 1 and 2. Hit down the line at first. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're now looking to line them. Right drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not ball. the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Man. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Giancarlo Stanton now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Here's the 0 1. Sent on the ground out to second. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Throw into third. And he'll make it over to third base safely. So that puts runners at the corners with only one gone. Number this is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Urshela, 28 years old, he's a five year vet at the major league level. Into right field, that's a base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one. They were in the middle of this one already, d -Row. They finally Gary. score a run, and they've had a tough time that scoring can. some runs. Yeah, after taking it on the chin yesterday, it's nice to finally break through. Maybe this gives the offense the confidence it needs. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. First and second now, one man out. One and two to the Yankees catcher. And he fouls this one off. set and the one two pitch takes this the other way to right oh and he can't come up with it the runner from second crosses the plate now that it and now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here Into the box, Tyler Wade. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Now the 0 1. 
Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hits are even right now at five aside. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And this is taken outside for ball one. strike at the knees one and one two balls and a strike to the Yankees first baseman a time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base The 2 1. Nope, that's down. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So stepping in, Mike Talkman, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Two out, bases loaded. Nope. And that misses ball. downstairs for a ball, one and one. one and one. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. A ball and two strikes now. The set and the one two hit on the ground toward the left. Oh, look at Donaldson. How about that? So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. We played four full. It's the Twins four and the Yankees two. top of the fifth in now Marwin Gonzalez 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here his swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. fastball in there for a called strike well he's still out there to start the fifth inning but it's been a real grind of a start for him the pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game and there's a fastball well off the plate inside to one and two now. Now here it comes. Fouled away. Again a one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Fouled off. 
hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. At the plate now, Luis Arias. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Arias is a batting line residing in the 230s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. The 2-0 on the way. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Gardner on the move. He's got it. A nice play there, two away. The center fielder, number 25, Byron Buxton. Here's Byron Buxton now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. chased out of the zone there and he's down two strikes the count doesn't mean much to this batter he's all in he's not concerned with striking out so he's going to get his a swing off ball inside one. and high with that one one ball two strikes four two our score here as we play inning number five and he'll lay off the <laughs> curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball weak grounder down the line at third and a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out twins are set down one two three but they still lead this one four to two. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said the high pitch count they've run up is a result of a lot of great battles at the plate by his guys, and he's not wrong. So far, they've worked five full counts in their at-bats. All right, Heidi, thank you. Stepping into the box, Brett Gardner, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right hander are up to throw. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. That's ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes.
There's a well hit ball out to right center field. Around first, here's Gardner on his way to second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the, the way here, baseball. and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get Love the bat hit out you. front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. So now to the plate, D.J. LeMayhew, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. No one out with a runner at second. Pops this one up. Kepler ranging into the outfield. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Now back. Hey, this has That's the makings of being a pretty big hitting yeah. D roll. Lead off double now with base hit. And all of a sudden, we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up, you just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. Now the pitch outside with that slurb of his one ball, no strikes. A ball and a strike. Lays off the fastball low and it goes to two balls and a strike. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. And he continues to labor here, coming up on 100 pitches in just the fifth inning. Boy, D. Rowe, this is a spot right now. If you're an offense, you start licking your chop. Pitch count starting to get up into the fifth inning. They could be sitting on some big knocks right here. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. You're looking for something middle of the plate right here. He doesn't have a great feel for his breaking stuff. Maybe he hangs something. How about it? Right field. It certainly looked like they Good might have had a ball. big inning cooking there with Red first pass. and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in the outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Well, they were having their troubles with his heater now early, that. but not this Number time. 20. Yeah, after a while, the good hitting team is going to start catching up on that hard stuff. You can see that he tracks this thing all the way and just rips it to the wall. He's in the second with a double. At the plate, Gio Urshela. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Swing and a liner. Foul. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. A ball and two strikes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Rosario is there. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Yankees forced to settle for one. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Twins four and the Yankees three. Your Luis Sessa please. takes over to start the now sixth inning on the mound. Number 85, Luis Sessa.
top half of the sixth about to get started. Settling in now, Nelson Cruz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0-2 count. The 1-2. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. Miguel Sano will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Here it comes. Nope. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Oh. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number 6. This is foul right side. And it's fouled away. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones Up have that late action that just darts the at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Mitch Garver. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Hit sharply on the ground. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield now single. Back. The first base. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1 and 1. One and two as he chases the slider. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Here now the 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Payoff pitch home. Rip down the first base line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Rosario.
Ready for another shot now. Eddie Rosario. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Nope. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Two down, runners at first and second. Hey. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Twin strand a pair, then it remains a 4-3 game. Devin Smeltzer please. enters to do the pitching in the bottom the of the twins. sixth. Number 31. Devin Melker. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. Leading off. Fly out Yankees. and a single for him so the far. Catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at bat. In her third let go, it's a called strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles now hitter down. right here, but that's Good his stop. second knock of the I game. Love. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Stepping in now, Tyler Wade. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0. It's going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. Gonzalez for one. Well, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The battle. The first baseman, Luke Ford. Stepping up to the plate, Luke Voigt. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit hard on the ground to third. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Ladies ben Heller will come out and take the ball please. here as he'll be making now, his 15th appearance game. of the year. Number 61, Ben Heller. Standing in, Josh Donaldson. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Josh Donaldson. First delivery to him on the way. Into right field, that's a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese, the middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Marlon Gonzalez. Into the box now, Marwin Gonzalez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one.
We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. A ball and a strike. One and one. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Two and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. To two and two now. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Swing and a liner. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. The batter number two, second baseman, Luis Arias. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Luis Arias. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball one, no strike. The one oh finds the zone strike one. Two and one now to the Twins' leadoff man. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The three one. Full count three and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Up next for Minnesota, the center fielder, Byron Buxton. Digging in, Byron Buxton. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. From the stretch. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Grounded to first. And Void will take this one over to the bag, and that ends the inning. One left for Minnesota, but they hang on to a one run lead, 4 to 3. So digging in now, Mike Talkman. He comes in Yankees. 0 for 2 thus far. No left field. This thing's far from Mark. over, even though we're moving into the back Talk end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 1 and 0 oh the count. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. This will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now with three and two. 
It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the Never inning. Fielder. That was Number a pretty good at bat and that he pushed Red. the count to three and two and made the pitcher Jordan. work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Hot shot down the line. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. DJ LeMayhew will be next. The three one. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you now can help that. it. Second but when a hitter in. like that digs DJ. in, you'd rather he's standing at first Love than Adrian. driving a ball out of here and erasing your, your one-run lead. Corey Garrett now, takes the mound point. now, and it appears he's being Double brought in to face the right-handed batter yeah. who waits next. Yeah. yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. DJ LeMayhew will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. From the stretch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Guerin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. The 1-0 is laid off for ball two. Guerin, a native of Tennessee. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. The 2-2 is looked at and the count moves four. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Runners on first with one down. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, now with two outs, it the becomes a lot more hit. difficult to Be manufacture there. that guy home. I'm Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now <laughs> Dero, bad. not a right bad field. night. Three singles, Just but hey, hard he'll hard. take three for four every That's day of the week. Bad. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a home or a walk or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. The 0 1 pitch. High and deep to right center. 
And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Yanks strand a pair. They still trail it here four to three. Adam Adovino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number zero, Adam Adovino. Coming to the plate now, Nelson Cruz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Nelson Cruz. First pitch on its way. Nope. Ball one, no strike. The one and no delivery. That's Downstairs, open. two balls and no strikes. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rob, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. The two two lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers, and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Hard liner to center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. to the plate now Mitch Garver as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one the 1 0 is laid off of down and in action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Now the 2-0. Well, three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Now busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. So coming to the plate, Max Kepler, one for two in the ball game thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul.
comes set with the 0 and 1. And he takes a look at strike three called. And that's as important as they come there. Two big outs now. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take. But on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. At the plate now, Eddie Rosario. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Comes set, the 0 1. Ball one. Down and away, ball one. one ball, well, that backdoor one breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Here's the two one. Job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. 4 3 our score here as we play the eighth. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. Pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. These guys on defense are still within striking distance. But after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Josh Donaldson will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. to hang a zero here's the pitch and he starts the number eight hitter with a strike nothing in one hey when a pitcher's put in a tough spot he's usually going to go to what got him here and that's this guy's slider expect to see that more often comes set the 0 1 good hard slider there but it runs away it's a ball and a strike Bases are loaded here, two down. Hit back toward the mound. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as they open things up a bit now. Six to three. The bat. Hey, Dero, that's a big Go. RBI right there to stretch Go. this lead to three. Go. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, Ladies all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Tommy Kingley enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Standing in now, Marwin Gonzalez. Yep, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Yep. 
Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Two men are on with two men out. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. The throw is wild and it gets away. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four and you know that save situation's gone out the window, don't tell me that didn't hurt you. Oh, it does hurt you. Oh, oh it does because, d <laughs> the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a save situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball. You get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save, and all of a sudden you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. Nope. Here's a oh, fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one, one and one. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Hey, this guy's got an 89-mile-an-hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Twins are in front, seven to three. Tyler Duffy is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready once again, Gio Urshela. He He'll see what Four he can do leading off the home eight. The third baseman. It doesn't look very Number promising 29. so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hit hard toward the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first now out. Now batting, catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in to try it again. Gary Sanchez. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball too high and it's one and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. Probably surprised to see the knuckle curve there. Two and one. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. And right into the shift. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter. The shortstop. Tyler Wade. Digging in once again, Tyler Wade. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Fastball well outside. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And now pitch on the way. Lifted in the air to center. 
And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Deficit holds it four. It's seven to three. Your Chad Green please. enters from the pen now to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score Number right 57. where it is heading to the bottom Chad. of the ninth. Green. Digging in now, Byron Buxton. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Byron Buxton. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. One pitch. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. A ball hit hard to the left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but now caught way too much right of the here. plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Ooh. In now, Nelson Cruz. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ground ball left side. He's got it. LeMay Hugh for one. And the throw was offline, but a good job to come off the bag and get the tag down. It's a double play. The batter. The designated hitter. Now at the plate, Miguel no. Sano. He no. launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. He's set. Here it comes. That's a ball. All two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two oh pitch a fastball inside and he's struggling here. It's three and oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Here it is, the 3-0. He's looked at for the first strike. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins DH. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. And that's hitting one on one right there, yeah, guys. That. The only way you're able to execute that type of base hit on that type of pitch is to recognize it early, stay tall, stay back, and trust the process. Into the box now, Mitch Garver. Yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh. 
Oh. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. And he fouls this one off. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Twins wind up stranding one. They hang on to a 7 to 3 lead. Your attention, please. New now pitcher set to take three. over now. It's the right hander, Number Sergio Pitbull. Romo, that gets the call. Sergio Romo. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So the striding Yankees. forward now. Number 0 for 2 from him Boy. so far in this one. Boy. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Ready with the 0-1. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole no lot to say fielder. about that pitch that hasn't Mark. been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. So now to the plate, Mike Tuckman, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he lays off for ball one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. And now pitch on the way. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Garver has a play. Two gone. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett Gardner. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's set and the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get down for a two-out single. So the bottom of the ninth is still alive after the two-out success. Hey, guys, that's now an excellent back. job Second right there. Pace. That's a back foot DJ. slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. Into the box, D.J. LeMayhew, as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He went down on strikes last time up.
Grounded fouled off to the right side. A runner on first with two away. Liner towards second. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Twins cross the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Jose Barrios earns win number four on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.